Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to um, play DS games on your computer. Um, so basically I'm just going to start up my Firefox. Now you're going to need to, um, first you need to download one software, it's tiny, okay, it's absolutely tiny. Um, the links will be in the description, so I'm just going to copy this one, Control C, Control V, press enter. Type in what it is, yours will be different. Well, probably. Um, now wait uh, 45 seconds, and this you're like a member, um, which I'm, I forgot my password, but I got it on my other internet browser. You have to wait 25 seconds. And if you've got premium, you don't have to wait at all. But I'm just going to show you how to do this when you're not. <laughs> It's only going to take like two seconds to download, so this isn't a big file, it's really small. Um, then, but the thing is, is that once you download this software, you need to get DS ROMs. You would usually use them for um, a program or a sort of game uh, for the DS, which is called um, uh, R4DS. You can also use the ROMs onto this if you want. So if you don't buy R4, you can just Play it on your computer if you want. So, let's just open this. There's no viruses on this. So, you want to uh, extract this. I'm just going to extract it to my desktop. So, here it is. So, if we um, double click on that, then you have this program. This is the program that you need, okay? And because uh, if you just um, keep this up, there's another link in the description. This is for the uh, DS ROMs, and um, so if you just control C that, and we go into Firefox, control V. This is uh, for you to get your uh, DS ROMs. I'm sorry for the pop ups. This isn't my site. It's just a site and there's loads of pop ups. So you might need to keep on closing them. It's really annoying. Um, now, what you can do is you can just uh, download one, uh, say, this one. Let's click on this. Maybe not. Click on this one. Here we go. So this load, uh, D, mm, uh, D3D, right. download, yours will be different, most likely, and then download now, and this pop-up is going to come up, don't close this pop-up, and then it's going to start the download, you're going to click OK, to the save file. These are a little bigger than, um, uh, well, this is not too big, but some can be really big. Some can be up to 100 megabytes. This one's only 10.7, so that's really small. It won't take very long to uh, download. <clears throat> My internet's okay today. Your internet's probably be faster because my internet's super slow. Uh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. My internet's usually like 50 gigabytes a second. This is very fast for it today. So. Stupid orange ball back. Okay, almost there. Three, two, one, and done. Okay, so if you just open this up, you're going to get this. You want to just, just gonna quickly extract it to my desktop. 
Mm, okay, so that's been extracted. And now, if we go back to our ideas, open that up. We're going to get this little program. It's two screens, just like the DS. We're going to go File, Open. Now, mine's on my desktop, so if I go to Desktop, scroll down a bit. Here's the file. Click open. So it's load for a second. And what you want to do is you want to click on start emulation. There you go. You're playing the DS game on your computer. This might be a bit slow compared to what it would be on the DS. If you have R4, it would go, um, it would, uh, it would run proper speed, but it's just off your computer. See if you touch it here, it can work. Um, you can also use this on your PSP as well. So if you drag this into your PSP games, you can use that, your PSP's got those things, and you can put them. Um, the name like frog. Uh, yeah. You enjoy your DS uh, on your computer.